But back here to our weather on the Sun Coast, Wendy Ross standing by with more first alert forecast. Wendy, the tropics are brewing again. Oh my goodness, they just did. This is the peak of the season. So, you know, this is the time of the year when we're going to see the most activity. And of course, that is certainly what is going on. We're going to get to that in just a second. I just have to tell you that it's pretty nice out there right now. <laughs> let's enjoy it. So uh, let's enjoy it. We're just going to take a quick breather. And there's this is radar and there's just nothing to show you on radar. And we're going to continue to see this drier air get pulled on down from the north. And then the winds are going to shift around and come in more out of the north northeast. And that will help to keep us on the quiet side for the next 24 hour period. Today we got up to a high of 91. 75 was the overnight low. Now sh this is what it is for average 74 and 89. So 91 and 75 are above average. But we're going to see plenty of sunshine over the next couple of days. So we're going to keep that temperature reading right around 90 for the daytime high and overnight lows will be mostly in the mid and maybe even some low 70s. 80 degrees right now, fair skies, dew point at 74 degrees, the humidity high, the winds coming in out of the north at five miles per, area, uh, per, per hour, again, drawing down some, uh, some of this drier air across our region. Well, now we're gonna get to the tropics. And of course, we've got the two systems here that we're particularly interested in. We have Jose right here, we have Maria here. Maria did become a hurricane and it is now becoming a powerful one. It will be over the next couple of days. We're going to start with Jose. That's the closest one to us. It is not a problem for Florida, but we are watching the system continuing to move on up towards the north right now. You can see it very well defined right here. And as it continues to move towards the north, the spaghetti models are taking it to the north and then making a sharp right hand turn as it is expected to move out into the Atlantic. Some of the models bring it back on in. However, we're just going to have to wait and see what will happen and unfold over the next couple of days. The rain shower future cast is showing the system continuing to move off towards the north. In Florida, we get a couple of the showers that would be taking place along the east coast, but we're not going to be seeing any effects by wind or rain. It's not going to be a problem along the west coast whatsoever. In the meantime, Hurricane Maria is moving towards the west-northwest at 13 miles per hour, already having strengthened from the 5 o'clock position to 85 mile per hour winds. It is still Category 1, but over the next several days it continues to get stronger, becoming a 3 and then later on a 4, Category 4, as it gets closer to Puerto Rico. And we're going to continue to watch this system, but now it appears as though it's going to start to make more of a northerly track, north northwest and then more of the north northerly track after that and that'll take place on Friday that's the thinking right now but as we know this is one of those systems you have to wait and see and listen because over the next couple of days this track is going to become more defined and by next weekend we're going to have a very good idea of where Maria is going the spaghetti models are taking it this way and you can see it goes across the islands once again and then most of the spaghetti models are keeping it away from the state of Florida. But we still have to wait and see what's going to happen. And that will become much more clear for us by this upcoming weekend. In the meantime, if you're heading to the beach tomorrow, winds will be out of the north, northwest at 10 to 15, mile, uh, 15 mile, knots. And 88 degrees will be the temperature, the Gulf water temperature, 84 degrees. And we are looking for a beautiful night tonight overnight lows in the mid 70s clear skies and over the next several days we're going to be seeing those temperature highs right around that 90 degree mark with no rain through Thursday.